Gujarat Board, Fourth Semester, Chapter Nine. Chemistry in Everyday Life. Natural Drugs. Well, India is a country of natural sources, and therefore we are using many natural drugs. That means we are using so many herbs and plants and lot of things available from the plants and trees as india is a tropical country here the major issue is many diseases which occur only in tropical region like malaria so in malaria normally we use at present quinine it is a very effective drug available it is synthetic compound but earlier days this was obtained from cinchona tree so if we take the bark of cinchona tree that was used in treatment of malaria eucalyptus trees which give us very important compound like methyl salicylate which is used as pain reliever salvarsan is also used nowadays how this chemicals started use uh, uh, how these chemicals were used in treatment of diseases let us start with ehrlich work which was a german scientist and he started working on many many diseases with the help of chemicals he used different dyes for the coloring of cells and discovered mast cells which were of great importance for later pharmaceutical research he came to know that it was possible to color many many uh, cells of organisms with the help of dyes in 1890 arlich observed that his favorite dye methylene blue which he fed to animals would only be deposited at the living end of the nerves leaving all other body parts uncolored this inspired him to look for dyes that would not only color tissue but also color and kill microorganisms a dream that would absorb him for 15 years from then in 1901 through alphans lorenz papers which was about the malaria microbes and that is trypnosomes polish attention was directed towards trypnosomes this was his exclamation this is an excellent micro it is a big for a micro easily visible easy to breed in mice it kills them pro proper and always where where could i find a better micro than this trypnosome to help me find the magic bullet which is needed for the therapy alas i wish i could find a dye that would heal one mouse one tiny little mouse once again though in 1901 through alfonso leverens paper he was a discoverer of the malaria microbes trypnosomes paul elich attention was directed towards trypnosomes this is an excellent micro it is big for a micro easily visible easy to breed in mice it kills them proper and always where could i find a better microbe than this trypnosome to help me find the magic bullet which is needed for the therapy alas i would i wish i could find a dye that would heal one mouse one tiny little mouse alleged and his assistant dr shiga tested about 500 dyes for their immunizing effect and their utility to battle trypnosomes their mice turned either blue or yellow from the dyes but would not be healed from the trypnosomes in 1903 one of paul paul alrich many ideas finally led to a first result he assumed that his dyes are not dissolved and distributed sufficiently in blood so he ordered to change the structure of one of his dyes for example add something sulfurous to the stuff is better soluble within the mice blood 
The new dye initially heals the mice from the trypnosomes and Ehrlich calls it trypan red. However, it soon turned out that trypan red could not kill all types of trypnosomes. But his first success incited him even more and he increased his efforts to find an effective magic bullet to cure millions of suffering patients. This is trypan red. It is azo dye. In 1910, Ehrlich achieved a breakthrough with compound 606. The yellow substance which Ehrlich called salvarsan was an effective and reliable agent against trypnosomes. Its usefulness for human patients had yet to be proved. Though on August 31st, Ehrlich used compound 606 on spirocheta, the virus that causes syphilis and compound 606 took effect. This was Ehrlich five, sorry, this was Ehrlich field day. After 15 years of research, he had discovered his magic bullet, Salvarsan, which is used against syphilis. So this way, in 1910, beginning of chemotherapy treatment with Salvarsan started, and he used the word chemotherapy, that means a chemical use for treatment of diseases. Drug. What is, what is drug? Well, this word is being misused. A drug is a chemical substance used against various diseases and pains. A drug is a raw material of medicine. Drug may or may not be soluble in water. Drug may or may not be soluble in water. Medicine. Medicine are the synthetic chemicals used against various diseases and pains. Medicine is a modified form of drug. Medicine are soluble in water. Classification of drugs. On the basis of pharmacological effect. Drugs for specific treatment, as for example, analgesic drugs and antiseptic drugs. On the basis of drug action, affect particular biochemical process. Due to release of histamine, such as common cold, acidity, swelling, redness of skin and itching, some problems occur. Drugs used to stop release of histamine are classified as separate class of antihistamines. On the basis of chemical structure of drugs, similar chemical structures are included in same class and they have similar drug action. For example, sulfonamides, where you can change R and these are all sulfa drugs. On the basis of molecular targets of drugs, drugs interact with biomolecules such as carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. These biomolecules are called target molecules of drugs.